Hey everybody, it's Jason from the Texas Gun Vault, and once again, it is Sunday, and time for one of my favorite video segments I put out every week, the Texas Gun Vault Poll Question of the Week. In the past few weeks, we've been talking about some pretty negative stuff like Joe Biden's executive orders and gun control and this and that, so I thought I would make it a little bit more lighthearted this week and talk about something I think every gun owner has joked about or maybe actually had to deal with in their own personal life, which is how to deal with you buying guns, because you know, we all have a habit, we all gotta buy guns, and how we deal with our significant others regarding those purchases. Some people get in trouble, some people don't. I guess some people are single. So, let's dive right into the Texas Gun Vault poll question of the week, a fun and lighthearted one. The question is, so for this week's poll question, have you ever bought a gun you had to hide from your significant other because you were worried they would get upset with you for spending the money? So as I said, this is something I think every gun owner and everybody that has bought a gun has worried about to some degree. Oh no, I'm buying a gun and I'm bringing it home. What am I gonna do? Is my spouse, significant other, whatever, are they gonna be worried, upset with me? Am I sleeping on the couch? Who knows? But we all joke about it. Some of us are more fortunate than others. But let's get to your responses and let's see how you voted. Yes, my spouse thinks I only own five guns, but I actually own 70, 24%. Yes, but I often own up to it and deal with the consequences, 16%. No, I just own it like a boss and sleep on the couch, 13%. No, my spouse loves guns as much as me, 16%. And no, I am single, 31%. So the results of this poll were a lot different than what I was expecting. I was kind of expecting a huge spike in the yes, but I often own up to it and deal with the consequences. That only got 16%. The one that got the most was no, I am single. When I look at the demographics of my channel and who watches, of course it's predominantly male, like 97%. And most of them are over 35 years old. So I've always kind of expected them to be married or in some type of relationship of some sort. But apparently they were like me all the way up until when I was 37. I'm 41 now, but up until I was 37, I never thought I was gonna get married or have kids. And now I'm 41 and married with four kids. And uh, I married into a wonderful family. My wife is amazing. I have four amazing stepsons, and it has been such a magical journey for me. And I can't believe I went so long without getting to experience this, but I'm glad that I waited because I have the best family in the entire world. So let's go through these results and let's uh, talk about each one. Yes, my spouse thinks I only own five guns, but I actually own 70. Now, I just threw out those numbers. I know I'm talking a little bit of hyperbole, but most of the people that I know, this is from my own personal experience. I'm not ratting anybody out. I'm not going to name any names. They're like, yeah, Jason, I bought this awesome gun. And I'm like, well, yeah, what is it? And they'll say what it is. And usually it's like a you know $2,000 gun. I'm like, wow, what did your wife think? They're like, they don't know. I'm like, well, how do they not know? They're like, well, it looks a lot like this other gun I own. They don't know how many I actually have. I'm like, okay, man, you're playing a dangerous game. But that's the one I kind of thought would get the most maybe, or maybe the own it, <laughs> deal with the consequences. But um, I think a lot of people from my uh, experience kind of fall into that category. Then we got the yes, but I often own up to it and deal with the consequences. Now, I gotta say, in my personal life, I don't really know anybody that does this. As I said, you always run the risk here. So you buy something, you purchase this gun, you take it home, and eventually they're just gonna find out. They're like, hey, maybe they're knowledgeable enough in guns or actually go back and kind of do a little inventory from time to time. They're like, hey, you usually only have three of these stainless guns, now you have four. Where'd this one come from? And you know, you're, you're, you're kind of sweating like, uh, I've always had it. And then they're like, no, I actually take inventory of your safe and I count them and, and so then you're sleeping on the couch, you know what I'm saying? So <laughs> I don't know anyone that's done that. To me, that's playing a little bit fast and loose, but uh, I'm sure there's some people out there that do that. And then you got, no, I just own it like a boss and sleep on the couch. Some people will just say, you know what? I'm not gonna hide it from them. I bought this gun, 
I guess I'm sleeping on the couch and it's completely worth it because sleeping on the couch for a couple nights is totally worth having that new SIG NPX or whatever it is you bought. So this kind of shows that maybe after so long in a marriage or a relationship, you're like, you know, they can be a little bit upset with me. They're not going to leave me. We love each other, but I got to have that 1911 or whatever it is. Then we got, no, my spouse loves guns as much as me. Now, luckily, this is the category I find myself in. I'll take guns to the range. As you guys know, I get a lot of guns in for range reports and reviews. And Becky, my wife, goes along with me. She's my camera woman, and she also films and shoots the guns, and I'll film her shooting them. And sometimes she'll get done shooting and go, I want this. I want one. And that's awesome. While she might not be the total nerd and geek about firearms like I am, she loves going to the range and shooting. She actually loves the way gun ranges smell. Just the, the, the smell of the burnt powder. She kind of wishes they made a candle fragrance with that smell. But she loves guns. She likes going to the gun show. She likes looking at the knives. She likes going and shooting. It's just an absolute joy and something that she and I get to share. And I feel that I'm the luckiest man in the world that I get to be in the firearms, I guess, community in this way, have a YouTube channel, get to go shooting, and have a wife that supports me 150%. It's amazing. She's always asking, when are we going back? What guns are you shooting this, this week? Uh, it's just awesome. It's just, I'm so blessed and I'm so glad that I'm in this category, but unfortunately, not a lot of you guys are. And last one, no, I am single. And that's the one I said got the most votes. I guess I got a lot of single people that watch my channel. And maybe they're single because they have priorities. They're like, you know what? Instead of taking this person that I'm really attracted to out to dinner and a movie, I could put that towards some ammo or I could put that towards a new Glock, whatever it is. You know, a Glock's not going to leave you. A Glock's not going to yell at you. A Glock's not going to give you any trouble, right? So maybe you're like, eh, I'll buy the Glock and won't take the other person out, that's fine with me. So, as I said, I'm really surprised a lot of single people watch this channel. And I tried to keep this as gender neutral as possible because I'm sure there are females that answered this poll that might have the same issue with their spouse. In fact, I know a couple of females in my life that are way more into guns than their husbands are. They're the ones telling me, and they'll message me and go, Jason, guess what I bought at the gun show? And it'd be, you know, some cool gun or whatever. And I'm like, well, well, what does your husband think? And they're like, oh, he doesn't care. He doesn't even know. <laughs> because he doesn't, he's like, yeah, he has his, his, his gun, but she likes to collect. And it's awesome. So I can see how it can go both ways. So uh, I felt that the results of this poll kind of surprised me a little bit. But it was so fun to see your comments. So let's get to those right now. And let's go to the top rated comments. Now remember, I don't respond to these comments and I don't like them because I don't want to skew the results. So let's dive right in. So with the top rated comment of the week is Richard Boone, who says, seriously, I have the absolute best wife in the entire world. When it comes to me wanting a gun, even if we should be careful with money, she says, babe, just get it. You deserve it. We will be fine. I mean, she has never, and I really mean never, said no or anything close to that. Even when I was laid off because of COVID, she still supported me getting two newbies. I forgot to mention she is absolutely gorgeous too. I post a pic, but you unclean heathens would go crazy. <laughs> that is awesome. And you know what? I feel the same way, but I got... Richard even beat. As I said, not only do I think my wife is beautiful and hot and amazing, but she loves guns. She lets me get any gun I want as long as she can go shoot it with me. So I think I got Richard beat. All right. Our next top rated comment comes from Brown Works, who says, the wife finally caught on when I had to build an entire room for the collection. Yeah, you're not uh, doing a good job when you have to build an entire room. But I'll tell you, from watching Brown Works channel, now if you guys don't know who he is, he makes custom grips from Exotic Woods. Go check out his channel. You'll be amazed at what he can make and what he can produce. And he's got some pretty sweet guns, but <laughs> I guess if you're going to build a room, you can't hide it anymore. All right, our next uh, comment, 
comes from 19 millimeter who says, I have purchased firearms, returned home and left the guns in the trunk just because I knew she would watch to see if I unpacked the car. I think this is my favorite comment of the week. It just goes to show how some of us have a real problem when it comes to guns. You know, I think if you're in this situation, you ought to tell her, listen, I don't smoke, I don't drink, I don't waste money on other stuff. I'm buying freedom and put it that way. I'm buying freedom and liberty. And for the most part, when it comes to guns, they're not really going to depreciate in value. I'm sure a lot of people bought guns before 2020 and once 2020 hit, the price of them only went up. It's like buying stocks. Then we have Mothra444 who says, My wife had a snubby for years and never acted like she wanted anything else. One day she asked to help her with something in her closet and I noticed a rifle case. She opened it up and there was a beautiful Rock River Operator AR-15. She had a very nice scope on it and a bipod. While I was at work, a girlfriend of hers was teaching her how to use it. I was proud of her and encouraged her to continue training. Well, that is one awesome story. I kind of feel bad that she felt that she had to hide it from him, but I think the firearms and the Second Amendment and going shooting is something that can bring couples together. Uh, as I said, I have a great relationship with my wife and us going to the range every week is something that we share. And when I go to the gun store, I'm like, hey, babe, I'm going to the gun store. She's like, yeah, go. And if I bring something home, I let her know. But I think it's cool. She kind of surprised you, but she should have been open and said, listen, I got this awesome rifle. Let's go shoot it. And then finally, we have Bill L who says it is easier to ask forgiveness than it is to get permission. And that's actually kind of the, the comment that I thought was gonna be the top rated one because I kind of felt most people were gonna fall into that category. But it's kind of funny. Uh, we all know, well, not me, but I know a lot of people are gonna get in trouble for buying a gun or multiple guns or a bunch of guns or whatever but we still do it anyway. And even though we joke about it and maybe you get a little bit of a talking down to, they still love us, our spouses love us. So that I think is the most important thing, is that if you have a spouse or a significant other that supports you in our, I guess I'll call it a habit, of gun buying and collecting, well, you've already won the jackpot. And if she doesn't kick you out or he doesn't kick you out just because you buy a bunch of guns and love guns, even if they get a little bit annoyed at you, you've won life's lottery. So congratulations. So there you go. So that is the Texas Gun Vault poll question of the week. And have you had to hide any of your gun purchases from your spouse? And I guess what happened? I really appreciate all of you guys voting in these and of course commenting and liking each other's comments so we get the top rated comments of the week. If you're interested in participating in next week's poll, go please, uh, sorry, please go check out my community tab on my YouTube page. I will also put a link in the description below. Go check it out there. It could be something serious, could be something funny. It could be something about EDC. It could be something about a current event or a specific gun. Who knows? I try to mix it up every single week. So go over there, as I said, like, share, comment, respond to other people's comments, like their comments, and let's have a grand old conversation over there. So let me know if you have any questions. And as always, thanks for watching.